Just to the north of K-24 is another shaft, leading to an empty chamber. In it, Ramadan has found intriguing evidence that it was used for mummification. Compared to the glaring heat above, the atmosphere in the chamber couldn't be more different. That's what you notice straight away, that it's a lot cooler, and that airflow as well, very different to up there. This corridor, this is what brings fresh air and keeps the air moving all the yeah. time inside this place. That's exactly what you need for successful mummification. Bodies can start to decompose relatively quickly. So their special space with airflow would have been the perfect place for mummification. And there's another clue that this air-conditioned chamber might have been used for mummification. The interesting thing that I've noticed here is that large vessel. First, it's in the corner. Second, there is a wall that's built around it. Third is traces of charcoal burning on the side right I here. I can see that, yeah. So I'm thinking this is a large incense burner. I agree with you completely. You need a cool, ventilated space mm -hmm. uh, for mummification. That's vital. Mm -hmm. But you still then got the biggest killer mm -hmm. for mummification, which are insects. Uh -huh. So the way to actually deal with them is to burn incense. So the coolness, the ventilation, combined with this mm -hmm. as an incense burner, would mean that it would be the perfect environment. I have one last thing to show you, that this lid cut in the bedrock. It's occupying the entire space of the eastern wall, but the back of it, there's a uh, small channel that runs on the side uh, right here, and then runs on the floor, and you could see it all around. From studying the contents of canopic jars like D.D. Bastet's, we know that one of the key stages of mummification was the removal of major organs, like the intestines, liver, and lungs. This ensured that the body didn't rot from within. Hey, what's interesting about the evisceration, the removal of the internal organs, if it, is if it's done by someone who's very skillful, then they can put their hand in, perhaps even a large hand, into a relatively small incision mm -hmm. and pull out one by one all the internal organs and they all come out as one. Could these channels on the floor be the final proof that this is where that grisly procedure was performed? It makes perfect sense to me that this was used to uh, eviscerate the bodies where you could take the internal organs out and any blood would go down the channels. This, because the space for mummification, evisceration, yeah. is absolutely perfect. It was so amazing to hear that. So fantastic. This remarkable chamber is the first evidence of underground mummification ever found in Egypt. It suggests that this was no ordinary funeral home, but a place where the art of mummification was being reinvented 